What's up, nerds? Happy New Year. Back with another video. I wanted to do one of these last videos to close out the new year, even though it is technically no longer December, and those videos were technically a December project, I guess. But it's my channel, my rules, I make them up, I get to do what the fuck I want, and I say that we're doing one last video for the end of the year. One last for the end of the year! Because the clouds are a little darker today, but there's also definitely more blue. So it's a good fucking morning, basically. And it's Monday, so there ain't gonna be nobody on the mountain. And uh, so I'm fucking, I'm, I'm a little hyperino. But anyway, thank you for making it this far. Thank you for watching the little compilation. Hopefully, uh, you know, my little experiment in not necessarily mental health, but experiment just in, you know, consistency, I guess. Uh, and we'll be keeping this going forward. After this, I'm going to be recording the first of the month video for January as well. But, yeah, that was it. Just wanted to do a quick little closeout. Thanks for watching. Thanks for, uh, you know, hopefully you learned, uh, got something away from this, you know, for me. I'm looking forward to going back and rewatching and seeing how... Uh, you know, I talked about stuff and how I thought about things and how things progressed and etc. And, you know, in the future, I definitely want to do more journaling myself personally. But until that point, you know, we'll stick with YouTube blogs. Anyway, that's all. Smoke grass. Eat ass. Thanks for watching. Be excellent to each other. Deuces. What's up, nerds? Back with another video. It is the first of the month. I can't. My voice is shredded a little bit. Not super shredded, but... They were playing, they played so much Pitbull at this fucking party last night, and all these white girls were going crazy, and I might drink a little more than I should tonight, <laughs> and uh, I met, it's funny, I got to hang out and chill and smoke a bit with some of the lifties at Hunter that I was already talking to, and it was funny, he was like, these people already, like, <laughs> We already had like a little bit of a rapport and then he showed up and he's like, oh, this guy, nice to meet you, hey. I don't know why I made him kind of Mexican. He's Argentinian. But <laughs> he's just like, oh, oh, ski patrol guy. <laughs> I fucking, that killed me when he was like that. It fucking killed me. Because I was like, fuck yeah, bro, ski patrol guy. And uh, so Ignacio, sick dude. Diego, sick dudes and had a fun pre-game hangout bullshit session with them for New Year's. Then after that, went to this, like, really nice hotel, this, like, 100-plus-year-old hotel where they had all this fucking, like, crazy, you know, like, it looked like a German bar with how, like, low-key and, like, wooden and, like, rustic or whatever it all was. Like, really... Uh, nice and the tickets were expensive and I would never go to like something like that ever so I only went because my friend was going and he invited me so I was like all right you know let's go check it out but uh not my scene for sure which was nice it was good interesting to you know because it's like it was like a the upper rich society of like a small town you know so it's like everybody knows each other and everybody knows like wh who's family owns this, whose dad owns this, who's the pizzeria guy, who's the burger guy, who's the, you know, the ski shop guy, who's the club guy, whatever, but, you know, there's, it's literally, you know, just like this small, small, crazy small town, so everybody knows everybody else, so it was, like, super interesting and to, uh, you know, experience that, and uh, I just think next year, for sure, it was fun, don't get me wrong, but I want to party more with the J1s, bro. AKA all of the Hispanic kids that are here uh, on their their version of summer break. For us, we're obviously in winter break, but we're they're the other side of the continent, so seasons are flipped. Uh, but next time, I definitely want to party with them. I mean, it was awesome hanging out with those guys, and they were like full. They were full on. They were like, I mean, we were vibing, bro. And then I left them a little joint to take for the fucking ride back. And they were like, oh, this guy. And I was like, yeah, buddy. So, you know, definitely want to try and party with them. But it was a real great experience. And I never, like, really go out for New Year's. So it was nice to go out for New Year's, you know, once in a while. But January, who knows how the vlogs are going to go because I'm going to be traveling a little bit. And doing mostly grinding out and stuff. I mean, I'll probably still do the vlog, these little vlogs like this. 
But uh, yeah, no, it was December was nice. Hope you watched the December vlogs, and uh, hopefully you uh, like the January vlogs. And uh, yeah, um, if you can't tell by the shaky ass camera, I just got to the fucking shitty parking lot that is like you know all bumps and mumps and everything. So I gotta focus on driving through this shit. All right, smoke grass, eat ass. Ooh, get in reverse. Be excellent to each other, and I will see you in the next video. Deuces. All right, what's up, Cheesy? Back with another video. So the reason I had to send a video and couldn't send the message is because as of our last discussion, I had decided not to take a job because I was too anxious and I was already progressing well towards my goals. So I just overextended myself, but thankfully I caught it, decided against that, and I have only since had more opportunity to spend time with family and do things that I wouldn't have had if I had had this job, and it's been fucking awesome. So the one of the big ways it's been awesome is I've had time to reconnect with my cousin who has a whole fucking crazy family not crazy in the mental sense crazy in the wow this is a lot of different types of people combined so it's him and his wife and then he's got three kids one openly gay kid going to a liberal state uh college possibly another uh weeb son who watches and obsesses with One Piece and collects weeboos and collects cards and just reads manga, a total weeb. And then uh, his third son is a non-verbal autistic kid and he's uh, like 13 or something. The other two kids are 18, uh, the other two uh, sons. They're not twins, they're just uh, brothers. Um, but, uh, you know, it's... I mean, it's part of the reason why, I mean, and I've known this for forever. It's just, you know, my first time like interacting with them as like adults and stuff. Right. And it's just, you know, it's uh funny, you know, when people try and say, uh, you know, I'm some kind of Easter phobe or something. It's like literally, you know, my, my family has the only thing my family doesn't have is like, you know, like a trans person, I guess. Right. Um, but it's, so connecting with them is great because they're a really uh, down to earth. Well, he's a very down to earth person and very practical and very honest. And I know you'd like him. You know, all he does is literally just work all day to provide for his family, come home, cooks them all sorts of gourmet deluxe food. He's got his own like pizza he like uh you know ferments his bread and his friend's got a pizzeria and he's thinking about you know going into you know having a little pizza gazebo himself and you know all this uh <laughs> all this other shit so it was like you know it was and and he himself is like a real great guy and he's been like you know uh reconnecting with my mom and because he knew my mom, he talked with my mom for a lot when he was like an adult and I never even like knew about any of these conversations or anything like this is like, you know, pre-texting, uh, you know, emails and phone calls and stuff, you know, and because I was just, you know, in middle school and uh, then in uh, high school and stuff. Right. And so he's like, you know finding out about like how mom treated me and shit and like you know he's finally got time now that he's done with like the majority of like you know kids stuff you know and uh because bo uh, both of his kids are 18 and his one son uh non-verbal jordan is just uh at home you know hang hanging out you know and his uh, wife works from home so you know she's just hanging out with him so you know uh now that the sons are both 18 you know very uh He's like, you know, looking for someone that he can raise like his own, I guess. And he's like trying to make up for the years that he didn't get to, you know, talk to me and help me out through any decisions. And uh, so I told him, you know, that's ridiculous. He doesn't have to feel like he owes me anything. He doesn't have to feel like he regrets anything. But I'm not going to complain about, you know, any sort of help he's going to throw my way now, you know. So I appreciate So, you know, I'm going to keep talking. I've, I've been phone calling him a lot. 
And so that was uh, really like one of the bigger things I wanted to, you know, would have been forever to type that out. And otherwise, aside from that, as far as personal life plans, we talked a little bit about leagues. And leagues for me, because my YouTube channel is strict or stricken, has a copyright strike until January 29th, I'm not really rushing to get back to making full-time videos until then. And leagues is until January 10th. So I was like, fuck it. You know, I'm just going to try hard leagues a bit, enjoy myself. Then after that, I've got another 18 of 19 days to edit all of my YouTube content before the channel rebrand uh, February 1st goes live and everything like that. And so honestly, like leagues, you know, I, we talked, I talked with you about like how stupid I am. I mean, and you know me, I really don't care what they think, but I mean, like, I just, it's fun. It's, you know, I'm, I mean, you know that I'm not like stupid. I'm stupid in certain ways, but I'm not like common sense stupid. If, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's common sense. I'm maybe not book smart or like, you know, uh, you know, uh, language smart or, you know, math smart or whatever, but for common sense and honesty smart, I'm like smart, you know? And, uh, but they're like making fun of me for being like, you know, RuneScape stupid. And I'm just like fine with it. Cause I know I'm like, not like, but they're starting to conflate RuneScape stupid with like common sense stupid. And it's like, so, and what I didn't tell you about and the reason, and I want to tell you, and you'll, you'll see with my response, it's really like not, it, I do it for fun. It's not really a big deal. <laughs> so I hope you don't think I'm like, you know, uh, being like sad about it or whatever, but it's gotten to the point where now I'm just like being like openly retarded just to see how like far, <laughs> how, how low of their opinion of me, how far can I push this just to fucking, just cause I'm going to get them so good. Oh my God. And then I'm going to take their reactions. I'm going to giazzo them and I'm going to make a collage of like all the times that Zoe went like full retard or had like zero IQ or something. It's like, damn, he really believed that I walked around on my hands, handstand all day with an anal butt plug with a styrofoam head with Luke, with a, like a fake Luke head on it. And my real head is going to be the bulge in my pants because I'm going to have my head tucked in like this the whole time. Like he's going to be like, wow, Luke, you know, that's really impressive that you're able to keep up that arm strength like that. It's like, no, you dumb motherfucker. Of course I didn't do that. No, what? <laughs> Fuck. Come on. <laughs> Come on. So, but it's all, it's just, you know, it's honestly part of the, like, uh, you know, cause Walt, you know, when you hang around with people, you know, you end up, you know, having kind of like a, you know, comedic stuff like them, you know, uh, make the same jokes. Right. And Walt and Zoe have a uh, very, you know, self-deprecating humor. So it's just, you know, playing with that self-deprecating humor in a different, you know, kind of way through RuneScape, you know, but, uh, it, you know, that's just, uh, that was just basically the update about like the family stuff, all the RuneScape, uh, video editing stuff all coming along. Leagues is going well. I'm loving it. I've got, oh, I, I got a new editing laptop with a 4050 Ti inside of it. So hopefully video editing will be a lot smoother and it won't take me forever to edit all of my videos. So, you know, all, 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 all's uh, going well. Just wanted to say hi and I will be, I mean, talking to you soon Friday, but I just wanted to send this little uh, video. All right. Love you, my baby boy. Guesses. What's up, nerds? Back with another blog. It is day three of the new year, January 3rd, <laughs> right? That's how that works. The third day of the year, January 3rd, first month. But so I used a video that I sent to Cheesy for my vlog for the second day because that was essentially what I was going to talk about to the vlog anyway. And then we already did day number one, so day three, and uh, 
I just like I'm blanking so hard. Like I have so much stuff that I've done, but I just got back from the gym and I'm just like keep stalling to make up time to remember what I wanted to talk about in this video, but I guess it's going to be a short one tonight cuz all I can think about is the pork chop inside that I need to cook and eat because it fits exactly in my calories for today and gives me the protein that I need so that I can go to sleep, wake up, deadlift tomorrow, then drive upstate. So I guess there we go. That's how I that's how I got to what I needed to get to. And now I will go to bed and get the rest of this and tomorrow will be a much better <laughs> YouTube vlog. I promise. <laughs> Hey. What's up nerds, back with another video. We are currently on the way to go skiing because it is the first snow day, or the first just snow this winter, and it's of course in 2024. I mean, after December ends, but hey, we got a white Christmas in spirit, right? So, I'm currently in the cat, everything's all packed up, skis are all set, all the gear's all set, and I'm all I got food, I got munchies, I got everything under the sun. I am like, I am the best person to ski with. I don't think you understand. I got so many munchies, I got brewskis, I got all sorts of shit, baby. So, oh, it looks like we got a little uh, incident up ahead coming up. Hopefully, uh, nothing too terrible. But this is why you got the Scooby, baby. We Scooby, we, we scooting in the Scooby. We scoop being. We a Scooby. All right, let's see. It looks like they're just on. Looks like they're just on, uh, on shoveling. Yeah, it looks like they're on shoveling. Oh, it's a bunch of Asians. I wonder if this is their Airbnb or if uh, they're trying to get out of here. There's a guy in the car. That's gotta be their Airbnb that they need to go to, but they're like stuck in and they can't get into or they can't get out of. <laughs> <laughs> Rip, bro. <laughs> but, anyways, so the whole uh, point of uh, today's morning video is to really accept and, you know, be at one with who I am and the life I'm living right now and, you know, the way I des I've decided to spend my time because right now we've got leagues Rudescape, League of Legends leagues and basically it's uh league of legends has this earth mode ultra rapid fire where all the abilities are tuned up to shit everything is crazy fast it's a higher paced uh version of the game and it was loved so much that people uh you know are like put as a permanent time mode but of course they're not going to do that so it's one of the main reasons why league of legends has a rotating game mode queue because people wanted to play earth so bad because it was such a fun fucking mode and it, it was just like a whole new game like the same game and you could do everything but it was different i mean i mean how many how many times does that happen right and so we've got runescape that i've loved i love runescape but there's you know oh did this guy not able to make the turn well <laughs> just kept going <laughs> oh he's okay thank god he's okay he's gonna back up yeah 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 but he tried to make the same turn that i just made in the subi where i'm just fucking vlogging and chilling bro he tried to do that and he couldn't stop and he kept going oh no <laughs> i mean fuck me bro i mean i'm making it look easy when i'm just cruising through the snow like this vlogging not a fucking shake in the world meanwhile those guys over there almost just ended up in a ditch <laughs> <laughs> not good but 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 back on track so i mean leagues on old school has been such a nice you know breath of fresh air into the game and i never played it and it was so much fun to play it and that was really what i wanted to just have i just wanted to have fun playing this game what i'd never played it before you know, there was always the part of me that was like, yo, let's try hard, let's get Dragon Cup, let the, you know, the highest rank, let's, you know, do all this shit. But it just, it's not, you know, I'm the amount of fun that I'm having in this game and the amount of people that have dropped out and burned out and, you know, given it up, given up on it. And, 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 and it's not because they've played it 
to what they've wanted to play it to. They're just, like, burnt out and they don't want to do it anymore. Like, I, I think it's a fucking big W that even if I don't max, even if I don't achieve my, uh, you know, final goal in the game, you know, I really do think I've put in a lot of fucking time and I'm, I'm, I've loved playing this game mode, you know? And so that's one of the things that, you know, take away for, you know, bigger thing for life as well, you know, is that RuneScape, RuneScape has been such a huge part of my life, right? And it's, I've played it for so long that just being able to, you know, have so much fun again and be the last man standing of all my friends that, you know, play this game and everything, like, to me, that shows that my mental is in a real good spot. And I am still kind of, you know, kind of pushing towards that, you know, end the game grind, you know. I kind of, you know, I'm still kind of, I'll be honest, you know, it's definitely, <laughs> it's not like I've given up completely, you know, I'm still tryharding a little bit, but, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, if I don't get max, I, I got next leagues and I know exactly what I want to try and do. And it's great because I also know now if I want to, you know, chill the fuck out, slow down the game, skill, go do mini games, go do whatever else. I mean, that's what I've done this time around and I've just had fun. And so, you know, that that's something about a video I wanted to make recently. I saw, you know, is uh, so on Twitter, there's all these runescapers on Twitter. All the, all, well, it's not RuneScapers, it's just all these people, right? All these people, you know, tidying down their life into RuneScape achievements. And it's great that, you know, they're able to, you know, do that, but I don't think that's the pro, I don't think they process it that way. You know, I don't think of it, they think of it as like, oh, this is a certain step towards a goal that I want to achieve. This game is one of those. And here is, you know, my Twitter post about that achievement that I did, which is just one of many, which will add up until I, you know, achieve whatever, whatever, right? But the thing is, is that it's, it's not actually anything. It's just RuneScape, right? And a lot of people will say, oh, well, yeah, well, then RuneScape has a lot of stuff, analogs to real life, and you can bop, 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 bop. And it's like, yeah, but that's only your standard answer. If you go and press them on anything, be like, no, you specifically, you, not RuneScapers in general, not people in general, not generic advice for people, all, none, none of that bullshit. I mean, you specifically, why do you do it? What is the purpose for your life, you know? And it's just like, oh, well, I just want to play a video game, bro. And it's like, so then, and, and so they immediately take that preachy, you know, kind of attitude they had about it and then just throw it right out the window the second you ask them about them. Because I think it's because part of it is because I, I maybe seem like I'm antagonistic and I'm like, well, what is it then, you know? So maybe I got to phrase it a little bit differently. I should probably work on phrasing it a little bit differently. But that's, you know, that's the, that, that was just uh you know, something I see a lot on Twitter is all these people posting, oh, the first thing of 2024, first collection lock slot. And it's like, what, 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 uh, so what, are you gonna, are you a collection log person? You know, click the profile, open it up, because it looks like you're just kind of like a fucking regular dude just playing the game. So what, are you gonna like now, you know, got, do, are you gonna feel worse about yourself when you don't do every collection log because you're like, you know, because you posted this collection log bullshit for social media or something? You know, like, but, because for me, you know, again, for me, it's all RuneScape. I've understood the, you know, the poison that I'm drinking, you know. It's like at least, okay, maybe the poison, you know, has a couple side effects that before they kill you that, you know, aren't terrible. It's like, okay, you know, you know, the economy uh, the ec or economic advice from RuneScape, you know, the social advice from RuneScape, you know, the typing, uh, being able to type fast from RuneScape, you know, the ability to... Undo, you know, be kind of mesh with different cultures because RuneScape has so many different cultures in it that, and so many different people that, you know, you eventually pick up little things from all over the place and, you know, definitely have used those in real life, you know? And so it's, it's just a different way of thinking. And I've been playing RuneScape for over 10 years now. Oh my God, 11 years of RuneScape. Can you, 11 years of old school rebooted RuneScape. I mean, Holy shit, I am fucking old, bro. I mean, I started playing this shit when I was in college, bro. I started playing I started playing the original RuneScape when I was in, like, middle school. I mean, back when I had first found out about animes and first found out about all this. And here we go. Here's the line to get into Hunter, baby. Oh, shit, it's a big one. 
it is a big one today. Holy moly. All right, good morning, nerds. What's up? Back with another video. So it is significantly brighter out today. Monday, January 8th, last two days of leagues. Oh shit, it's going down for real. So as is the plan, as according to yesterday, I am up at Adam. The nice thing is that the mountain opens half an hour later today. So whereas yesterday I was just getting in kind of like in the middle, this time I'm going to be slightly early or like right, you know, at the, at the cutoff. Um, and uh, cut off meaning, you know, for the first chair or, uh, you know, people, or early people to get on the mountain. Well, and then also on top of that, I mean, it's Monday. So, I mean, there should not be pretty much anybody here. I mean, I'm expecting there to be a, a good amount of people for a Monday, right? But compared to yesterday, I am not expecting anywhere near the same amount of people. So, the game plan for today is to shred the first half of the morning then I don't have to do anything afterwards unlike yesterday where I had to take care of some stuff so directly after I'm done today I'm going to drive back to my house hopefully get to my house like you know 1 o'clock something like that and then after I'm done with skiing back at the house unpacked and everything then I'm going to unlock Zaya on old school and start smashing my way through that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do winter tolt first, winter toddled. I'm gonna do that first to get as much flushing and fire making out of the way. Either that or I'm going to go straight to farming guild, whichever I think is faster. Because winter tolt, depending on how fast winter tolt goes. Because also with the farming guild, I can get a fuckload of points. So I might be able to sneak out a tier 8 relic right at the end before League's ends, which would give me that nasty bonus XP boost. And that would be like really, you know, then, then when I do combat stuff, I mean, I am like, you know, ready to fucking party max XP boost. So when I go to combat and Slayer, that'll be my last grind is going to be the combat and Slayer grind. Because I'm 93 range, 99 magic, and then 85s in all my combats. So, bursting Slayer to 99, or barraging Slayer to 99 defense, get all sorts of fucking loots, and then hopefully, well, barrage to 85 Slayer. Well, 99 Slayer, I mean, really. But, you know, that will be interesting to see how long Slayer takes me. Because, I mean, it's combat and it's bursting. And I'm getting a fuckload of tasks. You get bonus points off of tasks. So I should be able to just skip and only do the barrage tasks, which are like 200, 300, 400 plus K experience each. But that's essentially the, the grind plan. Uh, I've got a lot of money to get mahogany logs. And I think I'm actually at mahogany logs right now. So I was thinking about in game doing a, because I have to have my phone out because my uh, phone is my uh, ski pass. So if I'm going to have my phone out and it's going to be like in the background, I mean, might as well throw a couple, uh, send a fucking couple mahogany inventories, right? But that'll be the plan when I'm driving back home at least. I'm going to send like an hour and a half of mahogany logs and then after I've got, because I've got the, those mahogany logs and I've got like another like 1.2k in the bank and making all those into planks and then putting all that into construction plus whatever else I get plank wise from Slayer and everything I mean I think I will be Gahuchi Gahang it's just a matter of putting in the hours but I'm only going to be able to put in those hours if I am in a happy mental state and have successfully beaten up my legs to the point where I can't stand up anyway if I wanted to, even if I wanted to leave my fucking computer. So that's kind of the game plan. I'm coming up on the, uh, after I get past this turn, I'm coming up on the mountain where I'm going to have to, oh God, time to see if there are a million people here and if there's a huge ass line 
or if there's nobody here, there's no line, and I get to just drive right up to the fucking front and just get the beep bop boobity bop my way up on top. Let's see, it's 8.45 right now. I'm making incredible time. Holy shit. I mean, like, I am making, like, in fucking incredible time right now. Because if I get down there and there's no line and I can get to my car spot by... You know, 8.45 by like 8, 9.55, you know, something like 8 or 8.55, I'm sorry. And I'm getting close to that 9 o'clock kickoff, baby. And uh, woo, it's going to be a good day today. I mean, look at how nice and bright. I mean, compared to yesterday, right? So we've got, it's actually kind of funny. We got the bright on the one side and the kind of cloudy on the other. I've got my snowmobile helmet for busting it out today because it seemed like it was going to be a nice fucking day out today so hopefully it stays nice and the sun comes out because i brought that helmet to fucking party baby and we're gonna fucking party today anyway that's it for today's little morning uh of a logger i can't wait to shred today <laughs> all right smoke grass eat ass be excellent to each other deuces all right good morning big cheese it is january 8th Two days left of leagues. Not like anyone's counting. Not like anyone's rushing the max or anything. But, so I'm currently, woo, I can see the ski mountain from here, baby. Oh my Lord. So everybody is currently on the way into the mountain right now. There's a, not a huge line of cars, but there is a line of cars. And I'm gonna have to cut one of these people off because none of them are going to give me a break. All right, time to cut off, not this one, not this one, but this one. And he's gonna honk, oh, why you cut me off? I'm a big truck, I'm a big pickup truck, you can't cut me off. Meanwhile, there's like a line and no one's gonna fucking stop, fucking pieces of shit. All right, anyway, so we're here, we're queer, get used to it. But anyway, I'm gonna shred for at least like two and a half, three hours, right? And around like 12, one o'clock, that's when I'm gonna finish up. My legs are gonna be done. And then I'm gonna drive back to my house. So sometime around then is when I'm expecting the phone call. Just wanted to give you a little morning heads up and uh, talk to you soon, baby. Peace. What's up, nerds? Back with another video. On the way to Vermont right now. And it is 45 degrees out which means there is no snow at all on these roads. They're nice and brisk and dry, if anything, with some salt still on them. So this is probably the safest driving conditions ever driving up to Vermont. But anyway, so I had something happen today that like made me really, you know, feel better or feel more secure in my opinions. And that was Ludwig released a video talking about YouTubers quitting, right? And in those videos, he talks about something that I am actively thinking about and actively, you know, designing my life about, except it's something that many of these YouTubers never really thought about because they were young and just wanted, you know, either money or fame or influence or whatever the situation is. And now they're realizing that life <coughs> has a little bit more to it than that. And that maybe, you know, there are other things in their lives or whatever things they want to do, right? Which is great. It's great for them. Hopefully they're a little bit more self-aware about uh, this change and a little bit more humble about it because at the end of the day, their younger self cared more about money and attention and fame than, you know, anything else. And hopefully, you know, admitting and understanding that that's part of where you come from, you know, helps, you know, shape them as a person and their content and whatnot. But that's... You know, listening to Ludwig talk about this and all these people and their desires and his, you know, desire and what type of content they want to make and what type of viewers they attract and how they make money and stuff like this. You know, it's something that really none of them thought of when they, you know, started off. They just made content, something hit the algorithm and they got money and they decided, hey, money good, let's keep going with it and, you know, just let's just keep cranking out that content. And then at the end of the day, it's like, okay, well, how do you stop? You know, do you stop just uploading or do you slowly fade away into irrelevancy, making all the content, but not getting any viewers or any money or anything, right? 
essentially back to where you started making videos and, you know, just uh, completing the full circle, the pressing full circle, right? And so it was funny for me moving forward and like going, you know, this whole channel rebrand and everything, part of this channel rebrand includes an ending to the channel, an ending to the online content and a transition from this, you know, journey to the next journey, to the next leg of the journey. And that's part of what I've understood and, and is and am making part of the channel moving forward as part of the understanding and part of the movement and everything. So when I see Ludwig, you know, making this video, talking about this stuff, it's it makes me feel more secure in who I am as a person because it's like, oh, okay. It's like, it would have been, you know, maybe, you know, who knows if how nice, quote unquote, it would have been to have find out, found out the same lesson as these guys while also making millions of dollars. I mean, I found out that lesson making no money off my channel and now I'm doing the opposite. I'm starting the channel with that focus, whereas they are now leaving because they found that focus. So, you know, just a interesting dynamic and something that, you know, really, uh, it gives me stuff to think upon because I don't think many people think about, they focus on the getting money and the getting the attention and the getting the viewers and the getting all that. But what does that how does that impact their life? What are that was that? What are they going to do in their lives next? You know, is that something that people think about? Because it's something that I think about for sure, and something I want more people to think about. Which is why, again, it's becoming part of the content for the channel. But anyway, that's that. I've got a bunch of more driving in Vermont to do. Uh, I just wanted to quickly get that video out of my out of you know, or at least that video out of my head. Who knows where it'll pop up because I still have to do a vlog video for everything that happened as far as recently for RuneScape and everything, but that's a whole other thing. I'm not going to go into that. Anyway, smoke grass, eat ass, be excellent to each other. Deuces. What's up, nerds? Back with another video. This is the league closing video because I still have another two hours in the car on the way to Vermont and I have been grinding like crazy for the last two weeks and I really am just, you know, so happy that it's all over and now finally get to make a video talking about everything, right? So, old school League of Legends runes, old school runescape League of Legends. I keep, every time I say League, I need to say League of Legends. It's like I've been playing League for so much that it's just become everything about that word and everything. It's terrible. Uh, but old school RuneScape Leagues, which is basically a cheesy version of the main game where there's all sorts of different tasks and different cosmetics that unlock with it and all sorts of mini game stuff. It's a cool game mode. And there were five game modes or four game modes before this and or game modes meaning leagues right and so I, I never played any of them I watched people play them and they all seemed like really cool I had a lot of friends I was like come play come play come play and I just was at, never in a spot with RuneScape where I felt like I could leave the main game and so this time I finally was like okay you know hey let's fucking go play leagues this time and I started playing since day one and, or actually day one for me was day five because I was on vacation and physically could not play leagues, right? But then finally got to where I could play leagues and I played the first day that I got back from vacation where I could actually play and had a whole lot of fun. I ended up, we'll see if I get the stat pages up on the screen, but I ended up getting 2190 total uh, ended up getting 23, just short, just shy of 24k points, and I did it all playing the game the way I wanted to play, enjoying it. I played from day one to the last day, made it through all, everybody burning out, made, making it through everybody, you know, just either, you know, just getting whatever, all the holiday bullshit, you know, like I was able to still have fun, still find time to grind, still find time to go out and get it, and 
that for me is is really the W. You know, my total level and my experience and everything with it, I'm happy with that too. I mean, really, I, I've never played an Ironman before. I've never played leagues before. You know, it would have been nice to get, you know, all sorts of crazy accomplishments and everything. But really, for my first time around, I'm really happy with where I ended up. It would have been nice, you know, to get a couple little things, but I don't need to worry about that being kind of nice because it's just for me motivation that the next time this shit comes around it's gonna really get blown out of the water because it all of those little things where I think of ooh, it would have been nice to do this ooh, it would have been nice to do this now it's like okay now I know now I know it'd be nice and I'm gonna do this and it will be nice and so it's all just motivating me more and more so it's fun i'm happy i ended up getting myth cup for my first cup and i think uh i really the next cup dragon push will be really really fun and i'm excited for it but really what uh just to clarify again before you know wrapping all this up and going into the final like weeks and everything uh you know it, it was a big test for me personally or at least i was looking at it as a test a test of my own you know, self-discipline, a test of my own, you know, mental strength and everything, because I took time off from work, I'm collecting unemployment, I'm doing all this shit, right, and it's because I have supreme faith in myself to follow through on the actions and, you know, that I want to do, and, you know, I really do believe in that, right, but right now, it's, and with leagues, it's just been, you know, a tough (laughs) a tough you know balance because it's like okay you know I definitely need to go back to work need to do all this got all this stuff I want to do all this want to do all this but also I've never played leagues before and I really wanted to really fully play it and fully enjoy it because I've never done it before and I wanted to do it I had the time and so that's you know that's really for me just being able to balance still going to the gym, still still seeing friends and family, still doing stuff on the holidays, still going out and skiing, still traveling around, still being able to see my parents and grandparents and everything, you know, still being able to do all this while still giving it my all in leagues because that's what it's leagues right now. I mean, this is RuneScape, this was leagues, but in the future, leagues is going to be anything else in my life. It's going to be whatever hobbies, it's going to be whatever job, it's going to be whatever it is that I am working on that needs to get done, whatever work, right? Whatever the goals are, whatever that is, whatever that, whatever, you know? It's going to need to, I'm going to need to build my life around it and be able to consistently do it while also maintaining all the other things about my life that I like. And so this is like, you know, kind of like a soft test to that. It's like, you know, if I can't enjoy, oh God, sitting down and playing video games 12 hours a day, oh God, you know, like if I can't do that and manage family, friends, working out and everything, like what can I do? So that's, you know, I'm, I'm so happy and all everything just and even yesterday playing upstairs in the command center and having everything all set up and everything just working I mean it was just so I was just so happy and I am still happy I mean I get like shivers up my spine thinking about you know that it's that it's working out so well and everything's you know coming together so that's it for kind of the update vlog for January and Uh, or the first part of January and RuneScape Leagues and everything like that because now that all this stuff is done, it's going to be big time transition, uh, big time nose to the grindstone. I mean, I'm coming back to work on essentially a Wednesday night, essentially Thursday, Friday. So I'll be able to do Wednesday night and then probably a Thursday all-day stream, a Friday night stream, 
and then Saturday stream. I don't think I'll stream Sunday, but I've got exactly the next steps that I'm going to, you know, be working on. All the video stuff, all the editing, everything's all lined up, baby. And I'm starting off strong uh, this new chapter in my life with a very successful first old school RuneScape Leagues. And uh, thank you for anybody that, you know, stopped through. I had people randomly stopping through on the Twitch that would be like, oh, yeah, I subscribed to your channel. You know, and it just popped up on Twitch. And it's like, I don't know how it just popped up like that. And they just, like, never, like, you know, I, who knows. But, hey, something out there is, you know, working. So I just got to keep on, keep on keeping on, baby. All right. That's it. Smoke grass. Eat ass. Be excellent to each other. Deuces. All right, what's up, nerds? Different camera, different mic, because the GoPros are in the back, because we are now done with all of the RuneScape leagues, done with all of the house cleaning, done with all of the packing, done with all that stuff, and we are on step number two of four, which is drive up to Vermont, <laughs> and we're going straight to everybody found a uh, bar, so literally a uh, bar and restaurant, so I'm just meeting them straight there, and it's going to get a whole bunch of chicken, just absolutely demolish a quadrillion chicken wings, and then tomorrow, wake up, go shredding, and then after that, we're going to go get all sorts of ingredients for Berea tacos, and after that... Uh, do some more shredding the next day, make some more burrilla tacos, maybe get some eggs, make some breakfast burrilla breakfast wraps or something, you know, like who the fuck knows, get a little crazy with it, and then Saturday we'll probably be chilling, playing a lot more RuneScape, and then Sunday heading back home. So that's the update, big, big big grand scheme like overall you know the table of contents for this video and so now uh, it's time to get into get into shit so hopefully you enjoy this uh, vlog smoke grass eat ass be excellent to each other i'll see you in the next scene nerds er, whoop. what's up nerds back with another video my hair is so god awful this morning and uh, there's nothing i could do about it and i hate it but anyway, we are currently in Stowe, Vermont, and right now, about 10 minutes away, uh, woo, about 10 minutes away, and on this little vlogging part in the morning and stuff, I thought I'd do a little uh, Vermont uh, review, and so driving through Vermont is real interesting, because Vermont is kind of like a collection of little cults. Like little people that just decided to just, you know, hey, I'm going to, you know, I want to go go to Vermont and start my own little something. I want to go, you know, do whatever. But but it's all like real, like, you know, interesting stuff. Like, you know, there's artisanal coffee shops. You've got bars. You've got motels. But it's none of it's, you don't have any Hilton hotels, you know. It's all little mountainside resorts little like here we've got a little nice little deli but it's not just a deli it's got all like a general store you know because everything is spread out here you know like there's definitely uh you know it's more of a ski place you know it's more of an outdoor place it's not a big city you know and so it's a you know a very interesting type of shopping you know uh you know compared to compared to how you know this is very much what 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 new what original America was you know all the small businesses are still alive out here there hasn't been Hilton Walmart Target uh, you know uh, whatever insert generic you know again like uh, you know Stewart's or whatever gas station and then you know or Cumberland Farms if you're up here all, like everything's all small uh, small town which is something you know that I think a lot of people really like about Vermont. I mean, that's it's kind of uh, a lot of people from New York come up here to retire because there's so many places where you can just go and establish yourself, and you don't have to worry about fighting against all these massive corporation stuff. All you gotta do is worry about you know your neighbor. Which hey, I'd ra much rather 
work with my neighbor than work with, uh, you know, some massive corporation that's just there for profits. And otherwise, and that's, you know, that's kind of like my little Vermont review. It's kind of nice. You know, it's definitely, uh, there's uh, some, uh, you know, black trans lives matters, you know, haven't seen a single Trump flag out here. You know, they definitely are, uh, they definitely have their political leanings up here in Vermont. But uh, I think as far as like, you know, business wise and, you know, stuff like that, you know, stuff like that, I think it's a real cool spot because everything is all still local, all still mom and pop stores, all still small business, all still community driven, uh, you know, and that's something that I might not agree with Vermont politics again, you know, but I uh, really do like the people and the vibe out here. And, uh, so that's my little Vermont review. We are currently, you know, a few minutes away from the mountain. I can see it actually coming up right now. It's kind of fucking hot out. It's like a little chilly, uh, but not like super chilly. And, uh, it's 34 degrees out dropping quickly, 32 degrees. But I mean, like I've got like, I gotta get a new windshield wiper fluid because I got fucking there's little tiny little snow things everywhere and then my snow my snow blades oh God, sorry I'm getting I'm getting distracted this is done I need to I'm, I'm just gonna <laughs> I need to block out all other ooh, arctic pool and spa I gotta hit that place on my way back. Bro, we gotta hit some places up. There was this gym called The Forge I wanna hit on the way back. There's that Alpine Spa and Hot Spring, like, fucking hot tub place right there. Wanna hit that? I mean, like, it's fucking, uh, it's cool vibes out here. And weed's legal. Mad weed everywhere. Dispensaries everywhere. So, hey, not complain about that either. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Smoke grassy does. Deuces. Look at her tail. She's so excited. When's the next time you're going to have queso like, beer again? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. You're going to have nightmares about this shit. <laughs> you're going to be fighting fucking pigs all night. Oh, no more egghead. Why do I do this to yourself? I'm still calling Zoe again yeah, until he puts a ring on it. <laughs> but once we uh, finally get married, then I'll stop calling it. So is that what I should call you? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have an egg yet. Like Just finish to add the, the meat sauce in there off as well. <laughs> 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 So then once he's done this, you're not allowed to call Zoe and I can anymore? No, I mean... What's up, nerds? Back with another video. We are in Vermont. It is a little bit brighter out today, which is kind of nice. There's still clouds everywhere, but I mean, at least it's bright out. Currently waiting to take a shit because I ate 12 birra tacos yesterday and as a bet... And they were delicious. And I had added a ton of veggies and everything. But I am like backed the fuck up. I mean, I think I had a bunch of fish oil today. So I think I'll be good in the toilet. But I've got a bunch of uh, hand sanitizing wipes. And I've got a bunch of poop wipes and everything. So I'm just like waiting to get to the mountain to take a big old fat shit eventually. I hope I don't need to shit in the woods on top of the hill somewhere. But, I mean, we'll see how it goes. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Oh, 12 tacos. What am I thinking? They were so good, though. Oh, my God. Uh. <laughs> all right what's up nerds part two of today's vlog just got done shredding 
and now we're going to be heading over to this uh, little restaurant to grab uh, dinner or uh, at least post ski meal maybe we'll be having uh, food because later later it's 345 right now uh, but uh, from the post Berea taco aftermath so I managed to squeeze out a poop inside the resort but it wasn't exactly 12 pounds of tacos worth of shit so I'm like still waiting to see like what's gonna happen like am I gonna fucking explode like you know when is this thing gonna hit me <laughs> or when are these things gonna hit me and so I mean I'm like and it's nice because I mean obviously it was like perfect but like I haven't felt hungry at all I haven't felt like the desire to eat I mean or anything like that I've just been fucking chilling and I mean that's awesome and then I hit a bunch of trees today I didn't hit them like hit the glades like skeet the trails not like actually hitting the trees obviously that would be a lot hurt a lot a lot more broken bones right now but uh so hit some glades got some mile of that all that all on footage I taught uh, a lesson today got that on uh, video as well had some real nice trails uh, made some real nice turns got all that you know on footage and uh, you know overall real happy day great day with the boys ended up getting a little lost but we brought it back and uh, yeah, now we're gonna go grab some munchies. Just wanted to do a quick little follow-up because this morning's was kind of like, a, I mean, this morning's paranoia. Oh my God, of losing my wallet, but didn't lose my wallet. I found it and then on top of, thought I lost my wallet, but found my wallet. On top of that, my parents found my phone that I thought I lost, but we found it. And so I'm like actually thrilled because that phone most likely is gonna go for my dad because my dad is terrible with phones but this one has face opening stuff that is like really fucking top notch and uh so anyway but that's that's all folks i am going to we're about to pull up to this food place so i will see you in the next one it's all right yeah wait i gotta take a oh, I don't what's it called underberg underberg jeez but apparently it's disgusting He's just, he's drinking a modium right now. Does it taste it's like- It's not good. Does it taste like- <laughs> It's not that- Does oh. it taste like licorice? The aftertaste. <laughs> That's bad. That's good. <laughs> That's bad. Okay, who's taking another shot okay. next after I'm this? <laughs> What's up nerds, back with another update video. So we got some pretty insane shredding done. Got some great video footage, had a great time traveling up to Vermont with the boys and Masha. And so now we're taking a little break, hitting New Hampshire, hitting Boston on the way out Saturday. And then tomorrow, Sunday, we'll end up driving back to New York and everything. But forgot, totally forgot that Epic Pass was blacked out today. So that's why we kind of just ended up just fucking doing our own thing and vibing around. Because, I mean, I was not going to pay full price for a ski ticket when I've got a pass that I already paid 500 for so I could ski wherever, you know. So just a chill day. Did most of driving today. Did some gas. It's crazy how it's so warm again. I mean, I thought it was supposed to be cold. It's already 45 degrees out. So, huh, that'll be fun. Well, hopefully some snow survives. But otherwise, I mean, kind of just been chilling. Looking forward to getting back home. Has, has been a great weekend, but definitely looking forward to getting back to work on Monday. And I just, I really can't wait to start editing and everything. And put, you know, the December videos out. Put all these January videos out when it's ready. But that's that. Just a real nice quick one today. It's been just a chilling vacation, so... Smoke grass, eat ass. Be excellent to each other. Deuces. What's up, nerds? Back with another video. One of the daily vlog type uh, little things, little video talkabouts. So today we had a nine hour, 15 minute plus stream. It was like 20 something minutes. And today we went through all sorts of stuff since it's Monday, the first day back from Vermont and traveling and doing all the RuneScape leagues and kind of focusing on gaming for a little bit and the holidays and everything like that. So today was kind of the first day, you know, 
back to work, quote unquote, even though, you know, I'm not like, you know, working a job right now. I'm trying to, you know, make this work. Uh, so I put in nine hours and 15 minutes on stream. Obviously, there was some time feeding the rabbits, time peeing and pooping. You know, I had transition screens up for a little bit. But, uh, I mean, I got a lot of fucking work done today. I mean, I scheduled out everything for the next, you know, three-something months. In addition to all of that, I've got my next, like, you know... In addition to the three-month schedule big term... I've also got a plan for the small to short term or like medium turn in between during the actual month. In addition to that stuff, I've got things to keep me going for when I am traveling. So I'm not just, you know, getting nothing done when I'm out and about. And overall, I mean, really hitting the ground running as far as, uh, you know, actually getting to work and still have a lot of stuff to do today. And, uh, you know, which is good, not in a bad way. I mean, like right now, I did all of this. I got up early and started early enough to where now I can literally, you know, go to the gym, do my sauna shower, all of that stuff, and still have time to come home and afterwards watch the Eagles game and hang out with the boys and everything. And so, you know, really fucking good. And so now, tomorrow... Uh, I'm planning on doing another follow-up work and stream day. Uh, possibly play a little bit more video games. Uh, possibly the finals. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But, uh, you know, I got a lot of really good work done today. Gonna get a lot of really good work done tomorrow. And then Wednesday, I'm going to go skiing in the morning. And after I go skiing in the morning, head home. And then uh, I've got my boy's 99 agility party. And then after his 99 agility party, I've also got a family meeting, got meeting with my god kids after that. And then after that, I've got uh, Lethal Company video games. And I just saw this guy stop and take a piss on the side on the telephone pole on the side of the road in front of me <laughs> Woo! great neighborhood i live in oh is it oh this was the guy driving oh is he waiting here for something what's he doing that he's just waiting here for something oh is he oh he's waiting for pizza across the street i guess okay well now that i know that his car is kind of just sitting there doing nothing uh huh Interesting. Interesting guy. Anyway, <laughs> that's my Luke's random uh, random ADD moment of the video. But I think that's pretty much it. You know, tomorrow I'm going to wake up, stream, get my uh, medical stuff done tonight, get all that medicine crap taken care of, so that way tomorrow I don't have to worry about any personal information, doxing, or anything like that. And we'll, then we can work on some of the uh, more practical stuff and... Uh, you know, it'll be fun. I'm excited. All right. Anyway, I'm going to go hit the gym. I'm just about here. I'm going to do 20 minutes in the massage chairs, then probably 20 minutes in the sauna. And then after that, time to head back for the Eagles versus the Bucks. All right. That's it. Thanks for watching Smoke Grass Eat Ass. Be excellent to each other. Deuces. What's up, nerds? Back with another video. In this video, we are going skiing, baby. <clears throat> My throat's kind of fucked. A little bit my uh, friend when I saw him I don't think he got me super sick but he had a cough that he hadn't gotten rid of and whatever that cough is I've now got that cough so in uh, two days I'm gonna be done smoking weed for a long time we'll see how long after that but uh, it's definitely gonna be a big time like you know I'm only gonna be getting high with people that I really you know, really like, or really got good butt or something, you know, and uh, so hopefully that com combined with just, you know, overall lung health in general will help uh, me get over this cough, because I am pretty good at coughing phlegm up, and uh, I am pretty good at clearing my lungs, and it doesn't seem to be bothering me as far as taking breaths and being able to hold, you know, 
uh, anything like that, you know, it just, uh, it was weird, right? I sound a little deeper. Uh, so anyway, let me just move this big pile of clothes so I can see out my rear view. Nice, I can see out my rear view. Anyway, so the update since the last few days have been, it's a good update uh, today. So I got, over the last two days, a pretty good amount of stuff off the checklist that I wanted to get done, done, which was really nice. Uh, mainly, I did a bunch of healthcare stuff. I did a bunch of business stuff. Uh, did a bunch of streaming, which was nice. Did a bunch of different AI type stuff. Uh, set up myself for further success later in the week, mainly Thursday. And so overall, I mean, I can't uh, help but be rather pleased because, you know, uh, every day a little bit, just a one step, you know, faster. Uh, so, you know, or one step towards the goal every day, a little step, step here, step here, step here. So did, haven't made like, you know, uh, still, a, you know, still a long way to go, obviously. I mean, hella way to go. Shout out to the Cali boys. But it's, you know, definitely uh, happy progress. Happy progress update video. And that's why today we go and skiing because so far Monday was great, did everything I wanted to do. Tuesday was great, did everything I wanted to do. So now we take in a little Wednesday shred session, morning shred. And as suffering, as penance for my morning shred session, I had to get up at 6.30 this morning. And I'm going to be up until probably like midnight tonight, if not later. <laughs> so, you know, it's definitely going to be a long day today, but one that's filled with all sorts of good shit, especially when you're starting off the day going shredding. I got all the munchies in the bag. I made it that. Oh my God. Look at this fucking thing. Holy shit. Woo. Look at this protein shake, boy. That is a thick boy protein shake. And that is like, oh man, if you want to talk about ways to start the morning, baby. I mean, there ain't many better ways than skiing with a fat protein shake, a whole shitload of munchies. And it looks like today it's going to be a pretty good day out. Uh, you know, so that's kind of the plan for me. Going to be recording a whole bunch of stuff, you know, while I'm out there, but... That's the little a moaning vlog. Let's uh, see you in the next one. Keep going. See, see you in the next one. Deuces. What's up, nerds? It is currently 7.45 in the morning. We are driving to go skiing on... January 20, uh, shit, January 20, I took my watch off, I'm, I'm, it's like incredibly sunny out if you can't tell, so I don't want to like, uh, really go like digging for anything in my bag right now, uh, cause the traffic, holy shit, <coughs> something I didn't know about this area until recently is, uh, yeah, it turns out there's a lot of fucking traffic on this part of the road in the morning. And I wonder if it's because of how much sun there is, like, during certain times. Like, are people just like, I can't see shit, bro. And they just <laughs> drive fucking 20 miles an hour. I mean, because I don't even have to, I'm not even on, it's all these people, it's all go, they're all going to this one area. Or commuting through this one area. So, I mean, like, because... There's a couple towns nearby that are, like, fairly popular as far as works, locations, you know, go, whatever. Um, but holy shit, there's a lot of people that commute in the morning. Anyway, so, now, today we're going to go skiing because we didn't go skiing yesterday because did a lot of errands around the house, did a lot of online stuff, including getting new business cards printed and making a uh, Google form for ski lessons because it's nice and easy and it's very simple and it all looks very clean and everything. And the business cards are going to be, I ordered them, they're thick paper ski instructor business cards with phone number on one side, 
QR codes on the other side. It's a very simple design. It's not very, uh, you know, it's obviously not a graphic designed design. It's a very nice card. It's very personal. You can tell that I made it. You can tell when I explain it, you know, things with the card, like, you know, uh, it's a very Luke card and I really like that, um, you know, because I wanted something very personal. Like, you know, there's definitely something nice to being like a very produced, a very, uh, you know, professional money spent. Oh, wow. When you look at this card, it's like, holy shit. You know, like this is this card like do I have to pay you for this business card? Like, you know, it, it, it's like, don't get me wrong. Those kinds of cards are nice, but I really like the personal factor that comes with the instructing and the coaching that I'm doing and whatnot. And, uh, so, you know, I, and I already have a first, uh, person, you know, reviewer who gave me a glorious, you know, five stars, super thumbs up and everything. And I was, uh, able to record their lesson, which was also really nice. So, you know, overall made a lot of, uh, I'm happy made a lot of Luke happy progress on that stuff because that's the goal is to continually push myself and to be honest with what I'm doing. Am I happy with what I'm doing? Making sure I'm completing goals, making sure I'm doing things uh, because this is all, you know, on my own back right now. There's no boss telling me to do this stuff. There's no hours checking in, you know, this is all self, self-propelled. So, after having done the business card stuff, after having done the ski form stuff, I ended up getting an external hard drive so that I could back up all of my GoPro footage, all of my music, all of my everything. We basically did a full, you know, 2023, well, I mean, it's basically a 2020 to 2023 full backup of everything including peripheral backups as far as like laptop backups, as far as, you know, other hard drive backups. So just a, you know, a reminder, always fucking have backups of everything, baby. Always back, especially when, you know, you're doing such an intense editing job, doing this documentary stuff. You've got all this footage, you know, just downloaded. Lord knows how many, Yo, gigabytes, I think it was, of Mac Miller footage. I mean, I think it was literally like 112. I mean, it took me to transfer all of the data. It's 20 hours to transfer all of this data between to back, to back everything up. I mean, holy shit, brother. Holy fucking shit. Talk about video files, talk about all that. And then including... Not only did I get all that, including all the files. So, after I did all that, we loaded up Pal World, which was, holy shit, some of the best six, seven hours I've spent playing video games in a fucking while. And I can't wait, literally, all, I, not all I'm thinking about, but definitely on my mind is getting back home after doing all this skiing, after doing all of this family stuff. I got all my tax papers, all of my stuff together with me. I've got stuff that's going to be dropped off. Oh my God. And I dropped off my stuff at Kohl's and everything. I mean, like I got so much on top of so much shit daily, getting like four or five plus things done daily. And on top of that, still squeaking in some time to stream and play video games and everything. I mean, the just the next step that I've got is getting my finances tightened up. And then after I've got the finances tightened up, I've got another video. Or I've got a video and then finances, whichever. But uh, And then either on top of all of that or before all of that is whiteboard because I've got whiteboard and everything all set up so I just need to get into the use of writing on that or get into the habit again got to clear that thing off and uh you know and then that's pretty much it kind of t- you know that's been the last couple days I know I've been kind of rapid fire this video uh I'm surprised how short it is but managed to squeeze a lot in because I don't I haven't been doing these 
things every day, but I figured I would, you know, just do a quick little update on the last couple days, you know, how everything's progressing, how everything's going like that, and uh, now it's time to drink a little water, eat some munchies, because I'm going to be at the mountain, man, that traffic slowed me down a little bit, I'm going to be at the mountain, like, when it opens, like, on the money, and I'm trying to get there, like, you know, be, like, you know, kind of, like, first on there, so when we get to the mountain, we might be, like, running out, you know, we'll see, I got all the GoPro batteries charging, I got the watch charging, I got all the meds, I've got the phones charging, I mean, so we are fucking squatted out of our mind with everything, so, anyway, that's it, enough rambling, smoke grass, eat ass, deuces, be excellent to each other. What's up, nerds? Welcome back to another little vlogger video. So, it has probably been like four-something days since I've done one of these, something like that. And that is because for, actually, probably like five days. And that's because these last five days have been nothing but PAL world and streaming, baby. And editing videos and getting myself prepared and all this shit. And right now, on the way to the church, because it is our music director's last day as music director, at least for like a year or something. So I'm going to go down, going to, you know, listen to him play one more time, listen to him jam out one more time, talk to him. Uh, I made a bunch of ski instructor uh, business cards and uh, I'm gonna drop off a bunch of those at the mount or at the uh, church as well because we got like a little business card area for like the people that do stuff at church, right? So drop that off and then uh, back to Pow World, which I know is kind of insane. It's like you just put, spent five wasted five days of your time on this fucking game and now you're gonna go back in for more. You goddamn right, I'm gonna go back in for more because the last time I left, our base, our server was absolutely fucked. And last night, when I went to go look, everything was deleted. So <laughs> we're going to kind of give it another, like, maybe, like, okay, maybe it's just a little glitch in the system, a little buggery now. Um, and hopefully it's not too bad. But if it is, we're just going to fucking rip the server. And I'm going to start a new one with uh, some actual, like, you know, thought through, uh, you know, settings as far as EXP, as far as gathering, stuff like that. Because I think... There's actually some different EXP and gathering uh, sliders separate of themselves. So I can keep the EXP low, but also, or keep the EXP multiplier low, but also because of the gathering slider, I'll be able to gather, you know, 10 slices of wood per chop. So I'm fine with staying a low level and stuff if I can still get materials really fast, because that's really just the only thing that I don't like about the game that I really like. Well, it's the thing I love about the XP sliders because it removes that thing that I dislike most about these games, which is how long it fucking takes to get materials. Like, I get it. Oh, you gotta set up your Pokemon so that your Pokemon can mine and gather and everything for you. Well, that's great if the game wasn't in alpha and the fucking Pokemon actually works. But newsflash, Pokemon don't fucking work. They glitch out half the time. The game's in fucking alpha. And I need to get myself some fucking wood and some fucking stone, all right? So... Like, holy shit, this one, uh, this one, uh, like, uh, thing that you gotta make in the game, this one, like, wood chopping thing, I don't know where you can put this wood chopping thing to where it's not gonna fuck anything up, because every single time I have planted it across four different servers, across, like, you know, six, seven different places you can plant these things in the game, every single fucking time, every single spot, I don't get any wood, it's just bullshit. Or, the guys that do cut the wood, end up just 
getting, like maybe they'll cut the wood a little bit, but then they'll get stuck on top of the tree. <laughs> and it's like, and it just fucking sucks. So until the game is fixed, fixed, and has like those kinks worked out, fuck that. Oh, the Pokemon you're gonna gather. Fuck that. That's the game's broken. The game's an alpha. All right. So anyway, that's my little Pokemon world rant. <laughs> I'm gonna. I've got right now. We're heading into the fucking uh, church. I'm gonna do another one of these afterwards. Church is done and everything, but. Honestly, church is really fucking close to my house, so I don't have any more time. So, that's that for that. And smoke grass, eat ass, be excellent to each other, as always. Deuces. What's up, nerds? Back with another video. So, it is actually the day after Sunday. I was like, I thought I was going to make two videos on Sunday, but ended up getting caught up in football and Super Bowl stuff. So, I mean, eh, you know, whatever. Can't do much about that, right? The San Francisco game was, I mean, holy shit, 17-0 uh, at halftime to 24-27 at the end or something like that, or like 34-37 at the end or something like that. I mean, like, wow, what a game. And then Kansas City versus, uh, man, who did Kansas City play? Or the Ravens. Oh, my God, what another game. I mean, both of these playoff uh Playoff championship games. Sorry about that. Some of these playoff championship games, I mean, holy shit, the pressure, man. I mean, it's like plays that these people would make 99% of the time. When it comes to that 1% of playoff pressure games, you get to see, well, you know, who's the fucking guy who makes the catches and who's the guy that doesn't make the catches. And it was uh, all around, all day long, great game. So I just got way too distracted. Those games went way too late. And then afterwards, I was like, hey, I'm not going to fucking make a video tonight. Even though next time what I'm going to do is just go into the car and turn on the lights and just make the video because I was at home and I was embarrassed to make this video with my mom and my friend in the house. And I was like, why don't I just go sit in the car? And I just pussied out. I don't know. But now I learned. And the other thing I learned today, so I but butted heads with someone and I was like you know thinking I was like why can't he just do what the fuck I say I mean it's not difficult it's not like there's anything stopping him you know like why not like why can't you just do like you know if it's like it's, if I tell you to jump and it's something as simple as jump and your response is I'm not gonna jump because what if I fall and I break my ankle that's not you being a logical, smart person. I mean, do you really think in that fraction of a second that you have jumped off the ground, that the earth's shifting or a car's gonna come out of nowhere and hit you or, or lightning's gonna strike you? I mean, are all of those things possibilities? Yes, of course they're possibilities. However, what is the likelihood of that happening? And if I am someone who has jumped 10,000 times in my life and knows what's going to happen when I jump and know, you know, why won't you just, or why wouldn't you as, you know, the person who decides not to jump, just fucking jump. You know, it's uh, fascinating to me because that's essentially what happened today. You know, I had someone say like, oh, okay, I need someone to teach me how to jump. Oh, jumping so hard. Please teach me how to jump. And then I was like, okay, well, here's how you jump. It's simple. And then they say, Oh, well, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to break my ankles. I mean, am I really the asshole or is this person just a dumb motherfucker? I mean, like, top tier fucking dumb. And is it really, oh, oh, you should be nicer to people. You should blah, 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 blah. I mean, is it really, like, that big of a deal to get worked up off of that you can't just fucking do it? And the opposite side, because I try and keep myself in check. Well, why do you want this person to do it so bad? Well, what's the context of the situation? Well, the context of the situation is that he asked to be taught how to jump multiple times because he wants to be a better jumper. And now that the time comes, he's finally, you know, and now he's like, oh, no, I want, you know, coming up with excuses. And maybe it's because I hold people to a higher standard. Maybe it's because I've got all this experience and I know what's going to happen and I know the positive outcomes and the chances of, you know, like, you know, for example, I have had 
multiple phones, use this phone across so many apps, use this phone, use this program, trap phones, real phones, laptops, PCs, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, your own internet, you know, hotel Wi-Fi. I mean, I've done this across fucking everything. And he's trying to sit here and make excuses not to use it after being, after specifically say, you know, asking for help on this. I mean, damn. So I'm still, you know, not, uh, you know, sure how it's going to end out, you know. I just know that I'm not fucking backing down. I mean, I am, I've made a video trying to understand it better. I've done a lot of thinking of myself, you know, it's like, oh, should I apologize to this person, blah, 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 you know, what should I, blah, blah. And, you know, it's interesting how, you know, I, I, I thought, you know, it's like, okay, well, maybe I should apologize for calling him a dumbass, right? You know, maybe, you know, it's like, oh, maybe if he is fucking retarded for thinking that, oh, I might jump up into the fraction that I jump up, a giant meteor is going to come and strike me in the head and I'll die or my ankle's going to break. You know, maybe, you know, that, you know, despite how fucking retarded that sounds, yeah, I mean, it's a possibility. I mean, there's infinite world, there's infinite possibilities. Yeah, sure, there's a possibility. But, you know, again, that's a fucking retarded thing. And where I'm going with this, the reason I, because I, I stalled for a second there, the reason I brought that up is because in the stream, his stream, where it is his job to manage how his people treat each other, right? And it's like, so if you don't like being called a retard, then you probably shouldn't let people call other people retards in your chat, right? He had someone today call someone motherfucking brain dead idiot or like, or, or something along those lines. It was like brain, brain dead something, right? And it's like, well, if you're so worked up about people calling you a fucking idiot, well then maybe you shouldn't just let people in your chat jokingly, lovingly call each other fucking idiots all day long. I mean, like, so, you know, I've been still, you know, working through this. Obviously, you know, it's taken up more than half of this video, so it's still something like I'm, I'm working through. But, you know, it's really, it's, I think it's one of those things where it's just like, you know, this is why I want to have kids because my kids don't get to question me about this bullshit. They just do what I say, and then afterwards, they're like, oh, this is why we did that. This is why our dad wanted us to do this. Oh, because he knows better than us, because he has more experience, and he knows what's going to make us happy, and, and wants us to succeed, and wants us to do all this, So that, and that's why we did it, and now, and, I'm, and we're happy now that we did it, and we love you, dad, and yeah, you know, and, and again, who knows if that's going to, you know, how the, I, again, you know, who knows <laughs> if that's exactly how it's going to work out, right, but that is... You know, that, like, why he comes up with all this talk back to me. All this talking back. And all it is is disrespect and excuses. None of it has any meaning. None of it has any validity. He's just, just fucking talking out of his ass. And he has nothing to stand on. And, you know, so it's like, okay, well, what should I apologize for? You know, what should I, what should, how should I approach this? And I'm just gonna, you know, double down, honestly, on my points you know, make sure that I'm more like, you know, empathetic or whatever, make sure he really like understands because I don't think that any, he, I don't think, I really don't think he'll change. I really don't think his mind will change. I really don't think his personality change. He doesn't have the ego or his ego won't let him do that. He hasn't let go of his ego yet. Despite all of the edibles and drugs and the hippie life he pretends to be, he's not. Because if he was, he would be able to let go of that ego and maybe listen to what I say or hear my reasoning. And instead, he just pull, just keeps pulling out excuses and keeps ignoring it and keeps refusing and refusing. Well, that's not the way the world fucking works. And, you know, it's a, it's a shame. I wish he was not such a fucking pathetic coward. You know, I wish he wasn't just like I, I would be embarrassed if my son's acted like how he, he's acting. And, you know, if you're like, oh, well, I mean, you're not going to let it go. You don't like, but, 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 you know, you're like, Luke, you seem like you're kind of the problem. Aren't you projecting a little bit? It's like, okay, well, let's keep myself in check and remind ourselves that the only purpose of this was because he asked for it. This does exactly what he says. He's 
taken my advice multiple different times across multiple different disciplines, but you know, now all of a sudden I'm the retard. I'm not, you know, I'm not worth listening to. It, it just goes to an underlying point that I still haven't figured out in. And once I figure that out, maybe then I'll be able to, you know, address better the projection stuff and, you know, all the, all, taking the argument I have and flip it on me. But anyway, that's that. Smoke grass, eat ass, deuces. Be excellent to each other. Deuces. What's up, nerds? Oh, I always start, I need to do like a warm up before I do these things. Cause I always cough right when I do my what's up, nerds in the beginning. Anyway, what's up, nerds? Back with another video, little morning vlog thing. In this one, we are driving down to Philadelphia to get quote unquote, the best Philly pizza or the best uh, pizza in Philly. And that's because later today, I'm going to be seeing my cousin, who is a super big pizza fan, uh, makes his own pizza, one day wants to start his own restaurant up, you know, uh, big time, big time pizza guy, right? And when I talked to him previously, uh, because I saw him and his family about a month ago, uh, and uh, I was like, I need to see you ASAP again. And we've been phone calling, hanging out, texting and whatnot, but this is basically a cousin that, you know, I spent a lot of time with as a kid, and then I uh, didn't really get to spend much time with him afterwards between college, marrying, kids, job, all that stuff. And so, you know, fast forward 15 years later, he's like, yo, let's hang out. Let's, you know, and, uh, and he's always, it wasn't like, uh, it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't because a burned bridge or anything. It was just, you know, time-wise, we just, you know, uh, hadn't talked. And also, I was like a kid at the time, so it would have been like weird not weird, but like, you know, texting, it would have been a, I don't think, it, I, I'm, I didn't grow up in the kind of family that texts each other like that, you know, so for my family, it was weird. For other people, you know, probably not so bad, but anyway, so we're going to go be seeing him, seeing the family, all that stuff, it's going to be good, and going to stop by uh, Angelo's in Philadelphia, because we got a 9-1 from Dave Portnoy of Barstools on One Bite, you know, pizza review. So we're going to do a little stop by, get that taken care of, pick that up. And then in the back, uh, you can't really, you can see the top of the plastic bags uh, in the very corner. It's really tough to see. But inside those plastic bags are a bunch of sandwich wrap, or not sandwich wraps, uh, sandwich bread, as, as well as a bunch of different meats and cheeses and some salad stuff. So basically what we're gonna be doing is we're also, well, first we're driving to Philadelphia to get the pizza. Then after that, driving to my boy's house to make some sandwiches and hang out. Then, cause it's also turns out it was our other boy's birthday and he's in Philly too. Well, there's like a shitload of us nearby. So literally just all of us were just fucking hanging out, grabbing some munchies. And then after that, because Philly is past my cousin, so I'm going to hang out in Philly and then drive back up to my cousin and then hang out with him. And then after that, drive home after that. And that's like the plan for today overall. Uh, and on the back end, so got all of my business card crap with me. Uh, and actually, so today... I'm thinking about, I, so I downloaded Minect and I'm going to be messaging Tom the business doc and Minect is an app, uh, I'm not sponsored or anything, I might try to be on it as an expert one day, I mean they probably want actual experts, but who knows, I got a master's and like a business for a little while, so maybe I'll be able to get on there, we'll see how, uh, you know, how strict everything is, uh, but basically... Tom the business doc has like you know millions of subscribers on YouTube does all these great all this great educational content real big fan I love everything that comes out of his mouth and he's right now got his Minect price down to 10 bucks until the Super Bowl which is I mean an absolute fucking steal 
So I'm pretty much thinking about just, you know, investing a solid 50 bucks into just having a little back and forth with him and seeing what he thinks about my whole business plan and everything and, you know, see uh, if he's got any, you know, little golden gems that maybe, you know, will, will help me out because uh, to finish up this video, basically what I've been thinking of is basically taking out a small business loan and, uh, you know, a small, you know, whatever, $50,000 dollar business loan I know it's like small but it you know small quote unquote but that's like you know the minimum for businesses right and especially if COVID you know that all that stuff is still going on and you know really I'm tempted to see what this you know employee retention credit bullshit's like because if it's free money being given out by New York State man I mean why not right you know and it's it's shitty you know, I, I, I want to not be in a spot where I don't, you know, quote unquote, take handouts, right? However, you know, if I've been put, kept all this shit together, put dealing with all this shit, paying all this shit, following all the rules, I mean, like, why the fuck not, right? Like, it's not like I've been sitting around doing nothing. You know, I've been using my business for stuff. So, I mean, why not get the fucking money, you know? And so... You know, that's kind of what I wanted to, you know, talk to Tom about because, I mean, fuck, man. This is basically gambling at this point, right? I mean, I'm at the point where I'm ready to fucking gamble a 50000 loan and just fucking chuck 25 k Use 25 k to pay off all of the interest and all of the minimums and everything for the loan for however five years, right? Take that 25 k chuck it. And essentially, I'm betting on myself that in five years, I will have a job that will be able to pay off the other 25K that I've now chucked, or that 25K that I've invested will be able to recoup or, you know, pay off like that. And it's uh, obviously, you know, it's a fucking risk, right? However, on the reality side of things, I mean, is it... I'm, I'm betting on myself that in the next five years, I'll have a job. I mean, if I don't have a fucking job in five fucking years, and if I don't have a job that makes over 60K a year in, you know, five fucking years, when my last job was 60K, I mean, like, it's a, it's a tough world to imagine, I mean, it's a depressing world to imagine a situation where I can't, you know, make it through that, and... The real depressing part, you know, is it's like in this situation, it's like, man, what kind of situation is the world in where I wouldn't be able to handle that? And so, you know, it's uh, it's kind of where I'm at right now. You know, I'm not too uh, stressed out. You know, worst case scenario, I'll just, you know, get a regular job. I mean, that's literally coming up in this next like two weeks. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be looking for jobs and applying and you know, that, that's just all I'm going to be doing. So, you know, hey, I'm going to be coming up to this soon. So it's not like, uh, you know, it's not like this is a totally in the ether situation. You know, I'll be able to make direct changes, direct impacts, like, you know, soon. But that's just kind of where the brain's at. Looking forward to getting some pizza. Looking forward to chilling with the boys. Looking forward to hanging out. And then tomorrow I'm going shooting with dad. That's going to be awesome. Haven't shot in a while. And uh, I'm going to be shooting the automatic as opposed to the over under so it'll be interesting to see how that goes to see uh you know my first time shooting a gun that's not my own in like a decade <laughs> or longer probably i mean like it's probably been like no joke it's probably been 15 years since i've shot a gun that's not mine so that should be fun anyway and I got all my cameras to do all this uh, gun shooting GoPro stuff because, you know, I love that. But uh, anyway, that's it. I'm going to focus back. Well, I mean, I've been focused on driving this whole time. I'm like, how many times have I looked down at the phone, right? But I got another hour and a half on this ride to Angelo's, get some pizza, and then uh, hit the boys. So anyway, that's it. Smoke grass. Eat ass. Be excellent to each other. Deuces. Baby, 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 baby. Oh my God, it feels so good. Fuck. So, today, we had Jagex Azalea, Jagex Aziza, come out and say exactly what I said in my previous videos about these RuneScape players, right? 
where they claimed that they were being false banned. And I said, no, you are not being false banned. You are being banned because Jagex has a web of streamer, DMer, you know, corrupt, uh, you know, scamming, trading, having like this whole mesh of everything that they need to do because everybody's DMing, everybody's got all these accounts, everybody's putting in pots, everything's doing all this. I said that because of that exactly, people get banned because they just have, how can you, with this insane web, with all these names, all this information, there's just no way that you can, there's just no way. And that's how people, that's how the person in the video got banned because he traded someone, did something, didn't realize that it was part of this huge web, right? And he got false banned for it. And his opinion, his argument was that he did nothing and it was just a fake ban for nothing. No, he traded a streamer, a streamer with a history with Jagex, and we now know from Jagex's mouth that they are banning and they have come out today and warned you about doing things with clanmates, doing things with big pots, doing events like that, because there is a chance that you will trigger something and get banned because of that. Holy shit. I fucking told you. I told you. And everyone's like, oh, you have no idea what you're talking about. You're fucking crazy. You're fuck weird. Shut the fuck. And look who's fucking right at the end of the day. God fucking damn it, it feels so good, baby. What's up, nerds? It is officially February, I believe, right? Yep, February. I just had to check my check my phone. So, hopefully, I will have gotten out my December and January vlogs of this because I have backed up everything onto the phone and I have finished my blood work and finished uh, preparing the uh, computer room and office and everything like that because that's basically what the goal is after today <laughs> is I'm gonna go get blood work right now then after blood work I'm going back to my house I've already got half my stuff in my office ready to go and so I'm gonna finish the other half of that which is moving my computer and everything in there and once that's done I'm going to edit my little uh, vlog compilation videos and everything and then actually this will probably be the last vlog of January as opposed to the first vlog of February. And then I'll do another first vlog of February after I'm done from blood work. So, hey, just kidding. Welcome to the Feb January vlog, the end of the January vlog. <laughs> but, so, that's the plan for that. Everything's going well so far with January. I mean, now I can actually stream on YouTube again. In addition to being able to stream on YouTube again, I've got all of my own copyright free music and everything, so I don't have to worry about any BS with that. I don't have to worry about any BS with black screens because I've got all of that settled. So we'll see how, you know, YouTube streaming for this editing and all of this stuff goes, but uh, I'm all prepared to not get strict again. <laughs> and hopefully, you know, I'll be able to get my uh, warning removed. I hopefully because they have like a uh you know like oh i'm so sorry youtube i'll never use copyright things again oh please take off my warning please i'll be a good boy you know they have a <laughs> they have a thing for that so maybe i'll be able to get into that and uh get that get that strike uh, taken off from my channel um but uh yeah I'm ex I've been, oh my god i've been fucking banned on you banned from YouTube streaming for literally fucking a month. I mean, like, it was it was like two days ago. My my shit got uh, reinstated or whatever. I mean, and, oh my god, it was literally been since twenty er, since early not early but like early of the end of twenty twenty three, and it's now January February first, twenty twenty four, and I'm finally free. I mean, like Christ, so. I mean, that's kind of why I thought for the longest time about just making a new channel and just, like, starting from that because, holy shit, I mean, like, ah, insanity, insanity. But this is also the longest red light of my life. Oh, here we go. Finally free from the red light. So, 
it'll be interesting to see, you know, how it goes, people watching, if YouTube starts, because like YouTube Shorts and YouTube videos all leading back into YouTube Live and being able to link all of that with that stuff. So, you know, we'll see how it goes, but that's like, uh, you know, now that I've got in a lot of the ski stuff set up, I've got a lot of house stuff set up, I've gotten all of my friends and family stuff, I've been comfortable with about driving, I've gotten a lot of work done over the last months, like, you know, as far as everything from physical to online to everything in between, you know, so honestly, looking forward to February, looking forward to after blood work, doing this February blood work, uh, the first of the month February blood work vlog, and uh, thanks for Stick around, sticking around if you've made it to this point in the video because holy shit, December and January. Maybe I'll split them up, I guess, maybe. Uh, but uh, yeah, December and January vlogs, like probably like 30 fucking minutes, you know, <laughs> if not longer. So appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Smoke grass, eat ass, be excellent to each other. Deuces.